Welcome back to Ship Happens. Right, now that the weather's improving, I think it's about time we let Robbo out of the cupboard. You can come out now. Out of hibernation. Gemma? Come Gemma. on now. Time to I've, I've been having to hear you working, but you wouldn't let me out. Right. I think it's about time Rob had a shave, got out the covers and got back to work. Don't leave me without, can I take my friend? Can I take my friend? Come on then. I can't get up. Oh, my legs. Oh, 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 tea. Come on, I'll make tea. you a cup of tea. Tea. Right, so Robbo's job for today After is, a brew. After a brew. Let me have a shave. <laughs> but you'd have to cut me hair with a circular saw. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, to do the job quick. So, we're going to let Robbo smash in Sarinda's back end. <gasps> but gently. Oh. <laughs> is that our right? Oh, sorry, I, did, I misunderstood. Yeah, OK. So, we need to assess the hull at the back of the boat. Obviously, we can see right off the back at the transom, but we've never seen behind all the beds and the cabins. So, this is Robbo's cabin. So, we want him to remove all of this so we can assess the hull. So, today's episode is just going to be a Robbo episode. You're looking to lose subscribers. So, please support Robbo. <laughs> in today's episode and it, it'd be nice to actually see something else besides engine room stringers and frames and okay. stuff won't it but it'd be obviously we need to be able to see what's behind there to see what condition it's in so i'm gonna leave you guys with robo see you all later not sure how i ended up being treated as an adult god bennett that hell everywhere um i think they're either evicting me or they want me cabin to be better so starting in here it's never the best cabin in the world it's really nice hearing the water rushing past outside though so we're going to be a bit of time lapse a bit of faffing around probably make some mistakes because i'm good at that but um let's join us for the day see how it goes So we're about five minutes in and we can already see it's a jigsaw. Um, little bits of screws everywhere, they're all flattered ones, which is really great. Um, I managed to take the door off though. So just carrying on, trying to figure out what bit holds where. Get this bed frame out of the way first and I can move on to this panel in so they can get back, assess what the frames and stringers are like here. Um, you've got your elbow, uh, your knees there rather um, attached to the web frames so we can't take them off so it is just a big jigsaw once I um, attempt to get this bed frame out of the way then we'll be able to get a little bit closer and make things a little bit happier size of this boat it's massive huge big bolts copper nails massive um, Massive screws, God knows what else, and I'm fighting with little tiny screws like that. I love this boat. Well, this is turning out to be a load of fun. Um, I love people who put wood together with about 9 million different screws. Just trying to disassemble all this now. I haven't really made that much progress on it. Gemma's told me I've got to be nice. It'd be really good having a big rip saw, but it's not my boat. I'm not going to rip it to parts. I'm not Simon. A um, little bit of progress. It's taken me about half an hour so far. It's just finding all the screws. There's millions in them. Good job I've got three weeks off, isn't it? Yes, I have got a proper job. Um, which is why I'm not able to come as much anymore because um, Si and Gemma come during the week when unfortunately I'm working oh, it's taking me blinking ages but I finally got it to the point where things are coming loose now so hopefully 
a little bit more waggling and twisting and we can get rid of the final screws um, and then we can look to actually get down and get into the panelling on the back. I've spoken to Si about these water pipes. Um, two of them are connected to the central heating system that goes through to the back cabin that is plugged off and two of them are just empty for the uh, cold water floor and that beautiful sink. Do you reckon they want to save it? I don't, do you? Hopefully they've got a bit more class than that. Um, so when it comes down to it, hopefully I'll just be able to get the multi-tool and cut around the pipes, leave them in situ, and then we'll worry about taking them off when it comes to getting to that back panel. And but after half an hour, I'm almost getting there. They lock me in a cupboard for six months and expect me to use a power tool. That could go horribly wrong. So, got loads of it taken to bits now, all the main framework gone. Like I said, we've got those pipes, so a bit of multi-tool action. Cut around those pipes, leave the little bits of wood that they're going through on there. Simon can take that apart, it's his boat. And um, yeah, then we can get to this panelling. Oh no, Gemma's going to kill me. Um, 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 Sigh. Um, not coming back again. <laughs> um, you know that. You know we were joking about that pipe before. Yeah, I said, whatever you do, right? There's four pipes. There's there's a hot pipe. There's a cold pipe, and there's two heating pipes. Don't cut the two heating pipes because we need heating, don't we? You know, I said it could go horribly wrong. Now they've given me a tool. <laughs> it did. All right, let's go have a look. At least you don't have to cut around them all, though. <laughs> It's like a little hissing sound. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sai. Oh, well, it's, it's okay. It's only glycol, so we'll let it all dumb down. It's just as well it's coming into the summer. Yeah. We don't need the heat in that. No, we definitely don't. <laughs> just cap it off or something. Yeah. So I will go and find you some caps for it. We'll let it depressurise, we could dump it, but we'll let it depressurise, we'll cut the pipes, we'll cap it, then this frees up this whole room, doesn't it? So win, 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 we'll have any pipes going through. Don't trust me with power tools, Si. Uh, well, just, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's doing a good job, though. <laughs> Look! It's all empty, almost. It will be when those pipes are up. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't resist it, she had to come down as well. Can't get the staff these days, can you? You lock me in a cupboard. <laughs> expect me to do stuff. Oh but well. New logo. Back shit in happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Back in your day. Do you Another do, cupboard. Do you need some armbands now? I can't swim. <laughs> Have you got one of them life jackets? Yeah. Oh no, you let them all off yesterday, didn't you? <laughs> so the aftermath anyway. Um size just draining down the glycol. The top two ones aren't really important because they're going to the sink there so they're a bit redundant the bottom ones are capped off after this room because they go through to the aft cabin um yeah it wouldn't be the same if i didn't make a biff out of myself would it so back down here now we just decided that we're just going to cut all of these pipes side drain down loads of the glycol before and um, a few little bits left in just makes it so much easier being able to try and get these out because having to multi-tool your way through these boards wasn't going to be great so cut the four of them carry on pulling bits out see where to get up to Okay, so load of it's come apart really quickly now. Um, I don't know if Gemma and Simon are gonna be happy. I don't know if I'm gonna be happy, but we're gonna see the hull before Gemma and Simon does. 
So there's some of the horrible, nasty, itchy, scratchy stuff. So we've got gloves, mask around my chin, I'll chuck it up in a minute. So you're gonna join us while we pull it to bits. Sure? Come on then. I can't be mean to you, can I? Should we have a look together? You ready? Should we do this? Okay, so we can see our planking. We can see some nice big fittings in there. How are we thinking? What does it look like? You tell me. Right, I'll stick you up here on time lapse for a bit and then we'll come back once we've got it all stripped back. Done it. Um, we're no experts, are we? Sorry about the lights, I've got to work with this little silly one here. It's really bright that, isn't it? Anyway, what can we see? Can anyone spot some wood? There's a little bit, isn't there? I'll have to see what Gemma and Simon come when they come to assess it and have a look. Um, for me, I'd say the stringers look okay. That web frame looks like it's had it. Tops of the frames don't look great. The web frame looks alright, that bottom string is a little bit bit manky, looks like it's been repaired before. Over to this side, still needs a lot of tidying up, but I think the plan is that we're going to, or I'm going to jet wash it next time we're here. Let's get some of this panelling off, the upper panelling needs to come off, once I work out how that's attached. It is just a jigsaw the way the people have done it. Took the door off. They can't lock me in this cupboard. Up there for thinking. Much the same story as it has been for the rest of the boat. Up at the top, it suffered, but the closer to the bottom you get, it seems fairly solid. But I don't think wood's meant to let you do that, is it? <coughs> uh oh, there's a visitor coming. Oh, I wasn't going to disturb you. <laughs> yeah. Guest appearance. Here's Jan. Hi. <laughs> So the professionals come to inspect it. She's got her vital piece of equipment, flat-headed screwdriver. I think that stringer needs replacing. Nah, be all right. <laughs> Bit of filler. So it's sort of the same story. It's an all good low down, and then you get high up, and they just crumble. Is your beam shelf meant to be like that? <sighs> it's a bit moist, isn't it? Yes. How weird's that? I know. The top bit's good and the bottom bit's rotten. Same here as well. 
No, no, we're, we're... Band, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> you know, you got daylight now. Okay, so usual story then. The frames are all rotten at the top. Oh. A bit monkey at the bottom down there. Isn't that it? one's monkey. That one's all right. Oh, sounds beautiful. But that I know that beam shelf is a bit rotten as well. But that's the that's the new one, isn't it? So that's the old one, which technically isn't a beam shelf anymore. So that's the original height. It's lightning in here is terrible, isn't it? No. Ah! That's the original height of the beam shelf of the boat, but obviously the back it was built up in the 80s, so that's the the new beam shelf, but it all needs doing throughout. Hooray! You know what's very strange in here? Your knees are in good neck and different fittings. They haven't got copper nails in them. So yeah, that's that's strange. Hmm. They probably did when they were down here, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that copper nail there would have been from the knee. Hmm. It's great, isn't it? So just saying, I took the cupboard door off, you can't lock me in here. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's under the floor. I know we, we can't really get to it today, but... Yeah, we can if we can get that up. Yeah, I'm hoping not a loads of ballast. But look, your problems are over, look what's on the floor. 20p. 20p? Where? What? Mm. Oh yeah, there you go, that's your wages. <laughs> Robbo's wages. I'm just getting this, aren't I? <laughs> right then, you've done a... Mess. Yeah, you've done a mess. You've done a thing, but yeah. I got it wet. You did, you did. Right, I'm going to leave you to tidy up and crack on a bit more. Oh, thanks. Chalk this back. That'd help. Ta. So we're back again in the aft cabin. Um, been a couple of days. Gemma's been busy out fishing. Put a little bit more light in here. It's still not the greatest. Um, there's no natural light in here because all the portholes have been taken off. So we've just got to do our best. So the plan for the rest of the day is finish stripping out what's left of the framework of the bed. Get the cladding off the walls, take you under the lights so you don't get blinded. Get the rest of this cladding off. Try and get the ceiling off. And so I want to see what's underneath the floor. So mirror's gone, pipes out, big beam off the floor gone. Gemma's going to be dead impressed with me because I'm actually going to clean this up a little bit. Or shall I just leave it for air? I don't know. See what happens. I did actually bring the dust pan and brush. So I'm going to get that cleaned up. Clad in, clad in, and then under the floors. So, first wall, clean down. See the new timbers there from the rebuild. I've got another light in here now. Um, doesn't look too bad there, does it? Until we get over here. Again, we can see where the fresh water's done its damage. Got in, just caught the outside of that bulkhead or wall or whatever you're going to call it. Again, fresh water damage there. Don't worry about these electrics, they're not live. We've made sure of that and then carrying on further down now. All the pipes gone, sink. All the stuff gone. Be knocking all these little nails in because I don't want to land on one of them with my hand and stick it in my hand. So we'll get rid of them. Health and safety at all times, honest. It's true what Gemma and Simon have said about the wood. Um, getting some of the good stuff off is really hard, but the rotten stuff just comes off in your hands. It's like, we start with this cladding up here, it just falls off. Don't even need any tools to get it. You can just pull it and off it comes. So we, sh we saw earlier on just how rotten it was here. Now it's dried out a bit. It's just coming off in clumps and handfuls. So just, that's still nailed in. And you just pull it off again. Got the lovely yellow stuff behind it. So I'll have to put a mask on in a minute and some gloves. 
because you'll all start shouting if we don't. Um, but that side, after the bit that was a bit um, black and rotten that I showed you, it was a nightmare getting it off because it's all really good wood still. Probably look really good in a sauna. Sorry, Gemma. Are you going to put sauna in it? Hmm. But yeah, as I say, where it's rotten, it's just coming off in big clumps, much like it has all the way through the rest of the boat. I'm not going to bore you with any more of that now, so we'll just put a little bit of time lapse on and come back when that wall's cleared. All right, all right, I'll cough it. I haven't got a mask on. Problem is, I wear glasses. If I put a mask on, it's warm, getting a bit sweaty, and I'm starting to pull these planks off, I can't see. So the plan, pull these planks off, keep a distance away from the insulation. Once the planks are off, mask on, while I strip the insulation, just like I did on that side. So don't shout at me, all right? Just thought I'd stop for a minute. Um, people ask, where's Robbo? Where's Robbo? Where's Robbo? I mentioned that I have got a proper job. Um, I work for an ambulance service trust. I teach people, paramedics, emergency technicians, how to drive ambulances on blue lights. Um, yeah, it is a real job, but there you go. So it is quite busy, as I'm sure you can imagine. And when Gemma and Simon used to work more during the weekends, that was great because I could work then and come and play. But during the week, it doesn't fit in with my normal work life. <clears throat> um, I really like coming here because I don't have to think. My job all the time, you've got to be thinking, it's dynamic. But here, I just come, say, what do you want me to do? And it might be stand in the mud and sand or paint the, the side of the boat. Or it might be like it has been with this one, come in here and pull this apart. So I like coming here. It's good. It clears your head. I don't have to think. If it gets a bit tricky or I don't want to break something, I'll go and ask Gemma and Simon what to do. So there you go. I have got a real job. You know what it is now. And um, that's why I've not been around as much. I've been doing it for about... <laughs> yeah. Sh Sai! 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 Sai racket. Well, actually, Sai's just rumbled me, said I'm a porn star. No. I've got a, I've got a face for radio, not for television. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, all that wall stripped. I'll show you it properly in a bit. Um, I forgot to put the time lapse, time lapse back on again. You don't realise how hard it is to manage the cameras, do what you want to do. You think oh, I'll video that, and then you look at it and you're like, it's not on time lapse. So we're just going to start ripping these last bits of ceilings out. Simon's going to come in, give you his impression of it after Gemma saw it um, earlier, and hopefully we'll leave you on a big treat. But it's a secret for now. Um, show you around so we've got that wall strip leaving those in for now till they decide what they're going to do that wall strip you can see all the bits that need sorting out upper beam shelf from the new construction original beam shelf which kind of ties all the boat together and we've got this wall over here it's weird again how you can see where the fresh water's got to it and where it hasn't got to it. I'm going to leave this um, cupboard, closet, wardrobe thing in for now. There's my sole view of fresh air and the outside. It's getting warm in here. Anyway, si has been trying to get me to do this trick he was telling me about. I don't know if it's going to work, so just bear with us, all right? If you look around, I've got loads of cleaning up to do. I can't leave it because Gemma will kill me. You know what she's like. Just taking the mask off for a bit so I can talk to you and get my glasses unsteamed. So there's this magic trick that they've been practicing. He's been trying to teach me it. I don't know if it's going to work, but apparently if you go one, two, three. Um, I missed. Gemma, Simon, what am I doing wrong? I'm meant to be in that room. What happened? Don't tell me all of it. Right, let's try again. Three, two, one. Well, got it right this time. Ugh. Can't see, glasses have gone dark. Flipping magic sending me outside. So, Hey, it worked. The rubbish has gone off the floor. You've got to show me how to do it properly, all right. I don't know if I clicked my fingers wrong or whatever it was, but 
It happened. It all got clean. Anyway, I'm sorry if I've bored you this episode. Gemma and Simon wanted to, um, a bit of a change. Apparently some people are fed up with frames and stringers. It's the nature of the beast. It's a massive boat. It does take time, it's repetitive. It's like every day, isn't it? It's kind of like wake up, eat, work, eat, sleep. So that's all it's gonna be for now. Thankfully, they've made really good progress um, and are ready to move on from the engine room. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you where this is in relation to the engine room, but it's one of the next areas they wanna have a look at and work on. Cause you need to get deck beam, beams in in different places and all all this clever stuff that I don't know about. So probably just get to me one more bit soon when a uh, side comes down. So we might unveil a scary thing or we might unveil a nice thing. What do you reckon it's gonna be? Anyway, I'm gonna go and grab him. Stand by me bed, wait for the tent. Oh, no, I won't, will I? It's gone. I'm not standing by my bed anymore. Oh, I used to be in the RAF as well. That was years ago. I did 12 years. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll go see what Si's up to and see if he's uh, gonna come down and have a look. Oops, I've made a mess. Anyway, time to have me work inspected now. Si. You've made, you made a mess. big hole, I was gonna say a mess. <laughs> not not a hole in the boat. So like before, right, you could lie here and you could relax with all of this sort of moisture and stuff like that. Um, it's not quite as good as I thought it was gonna be behind there. For some reason, because it's behind the scenes, you're thinking, That'll be fine. <laughs> Turns out we knew the beam shelf was poorly anyway. What I'm most upset about is that this other beam shelf is poorly. So the new one that went in the eight, in the eighties, where I've seen this beam shelf in parts of the boat, it's, it looked really good. But we've now revealed that it's really poorly. So and the ends of the ends of these beams up here. See, like the, these beams look they're like awesome. Where I've seen them, apart from where it tucked away behind the scenes. They're actually poorly like on the end, so as per usual, the whole top of the boat is getting changed. <laughs> so yeah, we we now know we now we can now see. So I think I think at some point Rob is going to move forward to meet us in the engine room, so we can reveal because our our primary objective is in the summer when we're doing. Crap of film, really. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our primary objective in the summer is to put the beam shelf in and then we come after the beam shelf because we need to go three meters past because we're doing like like a, um, a brickwork pattern um so yeah we'll move forward and then we'll um should we have a quick look what's below the sole what do you think Have a look. I hope it's not really bad. Let's have a look next time. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds good. They the engine bearers side. Yes, this this is this is the very outer engine bearer. It's like like the ones we we replaced, like the ones we replaced in the fuel tank room. These ones these ones stop somewhere because the boat curves up. So I'm guessing they actually stop here, which is um, which is um, interesting. But yeah, it's quite good actually. So ho hopefully we don't, we don't have to touch anything on the sole to to reinforce the sole. So that's good. Um, shall we look under the one that you're still under? What's the boat back? Right. Oh, no, no, no. Someone's built a bloody wardrobe back. You can sit there, or what? Um, no, that one's not coming out. Let's have a look at this one. Why would you build a wardrobe over that? Foolishness. Interesting. 
And that's the other engine bay over there, that's the middle one. Yeah, this one's a good clean out. Crap everywhere. Pulling parts. No interesting tools there or anything, so. I'd say where's all this wall coming from then, but it's a radiator, isn't it? Yeah. And what's been bugging me every time I'm coming here is what's behind this box? Do you want the camera? Um, there's nothing behind the box. <laughs> what's behind the box? There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh man, I thought it was going to be that exciting. Side, why are you pushing me into this? Get back in your hole now. No. <laughs> this is a different closet you can you can crawl into. Okay. Um yeah, so there you go. Something a little bit different for you. Um I don't know if you like it or not. I'm still crap on camera. I really hate it. I just can't even point the thing in the right direction anyway. But just another little bit of opening up surrender, seeing what's going on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm Where's that screwdriver? Take this lock off, all right? You can lock me in. No, I was just one. doing crap camera work. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty, pretty funny, don't you? So, yeah, another new room opened. Um, no doubt, loads more to go. Thanks. Don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs>